In the desert, nature has created a very different, but no less beautiful, living system. And while this arid landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun. The American prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil. One day, we come home to the American farm. containing natural fertilizers, we can enrich the soil without the use of chemicals. In arid regions, we're learning to produce food on desert sea coasts by developing and planting crops that thrive on salt water. In Japan, scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce powerful harvests now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. Thank you. 
one day, many of these lesser-known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the road. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. Common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests, like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature, like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better control diseases. These crops taste as good as they look. In fact, we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses and restaurants here at the land every year. of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponic system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better growing plants to truly be living with the land. These greenhouses represent 
just a fraction of the work being done 